This is going to be a short demonstration of uh, Meteor from Stern 1978, I think. Is it 78 or 79? 79. I've been working on this Stern Meteor for a while. My friend got it. Uh, it was uh, in pretty bad shape, but uh, he and I put a lot of work into it, got it running good, and then decided to, you know, obviously upgrade the rule set. Um, so let's dive in and take a look at it. You can see right away that uh, the attract mode is significantly different. Um, and maybe you don't know how the old meteor was. It was pretty simple because of its age. So I'm going to start a new game here. Space. Timeless. Okay, here we go. So that intro is from the movie. Okay, here's the ball in play. So it started with the skill shot. I didn't hit any of the skill shots, so um, it's just going to drop into regular play here. There was a ball save there. The ball save's done. On a spinner and the drop targets in regular play still work the same way, which is you want to have some of the meteor drop targets down to make that spinner for more value. Uh, and then you get the spinner for lots of points. Now uh, that was pretty much the extent of the rules before. I mean, I'm not going to say it was everything you could do, but it was a lot of it. So here, when I clear the media targets, it goes into this uh, meteor storm mode. Now you can see two flashing red lights on the one and the three. Um, and those are meteors coming down. So what I need to do is launch rockets to shoot down those meteors before they get to the bottom. So I, I got that rocket by hitting the uh, the number three dead bumper up there. Uh, that's You can see the one flashing now. If I hit the number one dead bumper up there, I will shoot a rocket on here. And here I just shot a rocket on uh, sector one by knocking down all the one drop targets. So I'm going to try and do that again because I've got another meteor coming down on one. But instead I hit that stand up and that also uh, shoots a rocket. So I had a, a rocket um, queued on sector one and it shot it off with the stand up. So I've got another sector one. I can either arm a rocket with the drop target or I could just fire a rocket with the dead bumper. So there I fired a rocket with the dead bumper. And I've only got a couple of years remaining now. One meteor remaining. Orpheus is incoming. We've targeted the media. Shoot only the lit shot to avoid fragmentation. So now I'm in Orpheus mode, uh, and it's a big meteor, and it comes in on the meteor drops, and you can see the wow light is uh, shifting back and forth between the two meteor targets that are available to me. So I have to hit the meteor target that's currently lit with the wow light, uh, or else I will fragment Orpheus. And it starts out with only two meteor targets in the first round of Orpheus. It gets harder to go. So I finished Orpheus. And what happened there was I fragmented uh, the meteor uh, because I didn't hit the right drop target. And then um, I completed the fragmented Orpheus, which is, again, in round one, not very difficult. Uh, so it gave me a very brief uh, reward um, screen, where, er, not screen but a very brief reward period where I was able to get big score from every switch. Uh, and then here is where uh, my little two-month-old puppy grabbed the, one of the tripods, so that's why that camera just moved. Uh, so I said this is going to be a short demonstration. It's going to be a short demonstration because I'm going to lose that camera here in a second. Um, and you just saw uh, the, the meteor storm mode, which was where I have to clear meteors by you know 
hitting the drop targets or launching rockets or what have you. And then once you get to a certain number of uh, meteors cleared, then you get into Orpheus. So here, um, I got into Meteor Storm mode by completing the meteor targets again for bonus X and getting into Meteor Storm mode. So I've got a meteor coming in on Sector 1 there. You can see it's dropping. Got it. Got another one on Sector 1. Now you also might notice there's a uh, 74 on the credit display right now. And uh, that 74 is because uh, that's the that's 99 minus the number of spinners I've hit. And so you might guess that something happens when that gets to zero as well. So a lot of the rules are the same when you're in regular play here. Uh, I can hit down uh, my my drop targets for the one two three bonus. Uh, if I get them all in a row, I can get a extra ball or a special, what have you. So here's where I'm having a slight argument with the um, tiny little puppy, and then here's where he has a tripod. And then here's that puppy. So that was pretty much the end of the game. I mean, it was the end of everything I wanted to show you, so, uh, you yeah, know, because of the tripod issue, that's that's the cleanest game I was going to get, honestly, with uh, with him running around right now. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, there's more to it. Uh, I'll probably make more videos in the future, and I haven't documented everything for this one yet. There's documentation for my other projects out there, so if you want to give it a shot, there's, uh, you know, I can help you with point you in the right direction, point you in documentation. Um, but it's buildable now. Uh, if you've got a meteor, you can build this for your meteor for under 20 bucks. Uh, the code's all up online on GitHub, and uh, the schematics and all that stuff are up there as well. Uh, so give it a shot. It's a lot of fun, and um, I think it'll add a lot more play to your to your meteor already a great game this just makes it uh, a different variant and you can always boot to the old code uh, just by installing a switch on your machine you can boot either way hope you give it a shot